just going to about to do a little video. I'm not out in the woods. I'm in a garden. I'm uh, going to be doing a carving a cookser in this video, so I want to be using as minimal tools as I can. I'm going for the saw, my silky saw, uh, carving knives, uh, axe obviously, and some gouges. Bye guys. I've been to the local tree surgeon today and got a nice big old lump of cherry I believe. Uh, there's no one there to tell me what it is but it looks like the bark of cherry. So I plan to make a cookser and get some spoons out of this probably. I've uh, never done a cookser before so it's going to be a try and error. Um, I've got loads of spoons I've done so I'm kind of bored of spoons now. I want a bit more of a challenge so I'll take you through the process of this and um, see what the final product will be. So the tools I'm going to be using it's going to be the Brantford's Brooks. This is the wildlife hatchet which I do most of my carving with. Uh, it's decent grand force, uh, awesome, awesome bits of steel. Uh, my silky saw, this is the Super Acer 21, so I'm guessing it's 21 inches. Just slightly bigger, slightly longer than the Pocket Boy. The uh, Mora 106 carving knife. My wood tools. Spoon carving knife. The nice sheath around my Mora spoon knife. But um, thinking this one, because of the angle on it, it's going to be better for getting in the corners of the, the bowl. The old halter's force to split it and a mallet. Look at that grain. Awesome. Now, just to be a complete pain in the ass, split, split like that. Okay, so I'm getting the basic shape of it now. I've overcooked it a little bit. I might have to use the inside line as my outside line, if that makes sense, but I'm getting there. It's got a nice grain to it, so if it doesn't split, it could be a decent one.
good hour at it tonight. I've started to hollow the bowl out. You can probably see there's two knots, which is making life very difficult. So it's taking shape though. The handle's still very thick. I've got a lot of material to get off there, but yeah, it's coming along well. So I'm going to give it up for tonight and uh, have another go tomorrow. Just keep plugging away at it, I think, for the next couple of nights and see how it goes. too far of getting where I need to be. Um, it's been a long hard slog to get the middle out. So as you can see it's got an awesome bit of grain on there. So once that's all smoothed out, sanded and varnished it, it's going to have some nice patterning on there. A bit of staining at the bottom at the moment but so I modified it a little bit, I cut the handle down a bit more, it holds quite nicely now so you can hold it by the end or just underneath. The little bit that I chipped out actually works out to be exactly where my mouth goes so I know it doesn't look symmetrical but if I give that a nice sand down then that's perfect really. So yeah, another couple of evenings just hollowing the bowl out let it dry out a bit more and then give it a good old sand down a few grits sorry an oil the only issue i've got i don't know if the camera will pick it up some cracking maybe just work them out there look there's a couple and they they run down these lines i'm hoping that the bowl isn't going to crack if it's just there that cracks at the top then i can handle that but I'll carry on regardless, it's been good practice. I know for next time, I'm gonna get an ADS, I think they're called ADS or AIDS. Uh, they're like little axes with a chisel end, just to hollow out the bowl, because that has taken evenings to do that. Literally just using this one and that to scrape it out, that's taken ages, so. But I'm happy with it so far, as long as it doesn't leak and it's functional. That's my first one, so it can only get better from there. Finished, finished it about a week ago now and it's split everywhere. <laughs> Those cracks I thought were going to be problematic turned out to be very problematic. So that's the worst, the worst of the two, um, which is a pretty substantial one all the way through. And then also the one down here, there, that bottom one, we'll to see the light through it at some point there. So yeah, really enjoyed the process. I kind of knew that the outcome was going to be splits, but um, I enjoyed doing it. It's uh, it, the grain on this cherry is awesome. Um, really like the pattern and the colour. So it's had three or four coats of linseed oil. Um, I left it in. I left the linseed oil in a bowl 
about 24 hours and then I've left it for about a week now to dry off completely and uh, yeah that's the result the cracking so I've been looking up on YouTube and it is possible to put I think a pine and sawdust resin in to try and uh, try and rectify the cracks um, if anyone knows of anything if let us know in the comments that'd be great I hope you've enjoyed the little video on the cooks are carving and um, I've got a wild camp coming up soon um, I put a little Instagram post up about woodland camping or coastal camping a little poll and uh, the coastal camp one so I'm going to be heading off to Suffolk coastline in the next couple of weeks hopefully yeah stop waffling now uh, catch you on the next one